so good afternoon people well uh, this is my first vlog video actually and um, I think this is going to be a very good uh, journey because uh, this is going to be a Christian vlog channel and you know I'll be documenting uh, the Christianity life and all of these things for us, you know, and it's going to be much more uh, interesting and building and really productive than, you know, just some of the channels that the devil is launching into the world today on vlog, you know, and those, whether we like it or not, vlogs and all of these videos we watch online is, uh, discipling us one way or the other you know there's nothing like the lifestyle of people disciple a lot much much than anything else okay so i'm doing this based on god's uh instruction to me actually and i'll be documenting some moments about this christian living the christianity lifestyle and right now i'm actually going to uh, a place where i usually do meditate you know and pray at times it's a very uh, quiet place and you know just going there to have some good time in the holy spirit okay is and i'm not going to this place uh, religiously like people do when they go to a site a mountain to go and pray as if god is on that mountain no <laughs> i'm actually going to this place uh just because uh i enjoy the place at times and you know it's just a quiet and a very good view place and just a a cool uh there is cool here and everything there you know and you can view the top uh you can view the city view and all of these things from this place so it's just a cool place for me to meditate to to refresh to pray at times so i'm on my way now going to this mountain and journey with me thanks a lot people mountain okay there's actually a church a church that was built on this mountain like an abandoned church so, so these are the steps to the mountain So guys, welcome people. I actually do I found somewhere to sit now under uh each each sheet and uh I do have my book here with me, you know, just if there is any uh, meditation that I have to do and I have to write, then I pen down. So uh, I want to tell us a story actually, because I remember the first time I actually came to this um, this site. You know, that was 20, 20, uh, 2017, yeah, 2017 actually. So that moment was just some moment of uh, frustration and, you know, I was just so down that time and 
I just came to this mountain to come and have some good uh, time to, to just stay away from all my my frustration at that time and I also I can remember that day I, I pray I actually prayed a lot that day and the key point why I want to discuss this with us is not because um, I'm saying <laughs> if you have trouble you should go to a mountain to actually go and pray no not not actually uh, exactly but the the key point now is when I look back then to to my state then and right now it is I just keep on like thanking God for my for my salvation and everything that God has actually done in my life because back then it was just ah uh, it was so heavy like it's like it was just a great sorrowful time and I can remember I came here praying all through the day that that period and you know back then I even know God a little just in a little way and you know but I have actually improved God has improved my state compared to back then to now everything you know my joys the, the, the state of my joy have, have increased the state of you know there has been the hand of God has just been mighty has been mighty the hand of God has actually been mighty it has actually been a great time so I just thank God I bless God it's because with us uh, a place in the scripture where King Solomon in uh, Ecclesiastes was admonishing people, you know, and he was saying in that Ecclesiastes, just in the last verse of Ecclesiastes, he was saying, like, uh, this thing we should do, like, we have to, uh, in making many books, there is no end, and much study is wearisome to the flesh okay in making many book I think in ma that in making many book is telling us about meditation like it's telling us about things that are, uh, are, are just like necessary for human being to do is meditation you know I can remember me one of my friends uh, we are discussing this issue of meditation and you know we are just talking like this meditation thing is, is a is a key issue for human being like it's it's one of these things that is major for human being to do on it we have to make many book we must be a thinker because uh, they say that thinkers are leaders. That statement is just right. And it is in the place of meditation that a lot of solutions to what problem actually come from. A lot of solution. Spiritual solution and, and uh, our natural physical solutions. It is in the place of meditation most brilliant ideas in the world today they all come from the place of meditation so i think it's, it's just like King solomon said that this are the duty of men even as much as some, someone is human being this is duty of human being we have to meditate we have to meditate we have to make a lot of books okay we have to make a lot of books 
that is one of the duty of Yuma. We have to meditate. Crucial. Very crucial. And you know we are going to have a lot of answers to a lot of things in the place of meditation God is going to supply a lot of answers to many challenges that we face that our world face in the place of meditation okay and those we are going to get a lot of things resolved a lot of things a lot of things and you know it's also crucial that someone gets born again you have the spirit of god because if somebody is meditating with another spirit it's the wisdom of the devil that will be bursting forth in the person okay and it's the wisdom of, of the devil are sensual wisdom destructive wisdom okay but the wisdom of god is finer okay who is from above is above all is the widow wisdom of god when christian meditates we, we make this as a daily practice meditating you know writing making a lot of books when we make this a daily practice we are going to bring a lot of solutions to our world and we are going to resolve so many issues in our own life okay it was in the place of meditation that I first, that I, I first learned about uh, 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 a lot of things that I learned in the Bible about sin, about life, about death, a lot of about joy, about a lot of things. It is in the place of meditation that I actually got there. It's the place of meditation. And it is the grace of God, actually. It is the grace of God. <laughs> it is not because I can meditate, or it is actually the grace of God. So we have to be a meditate, someone who is meditating, and that should be our life in secret. Okay? Somebody, you are, you are Christian, a uh, musician, Christian artist, Christian this, Christian that. You have to be a meditator. You have to have a secret place where you and the Holy Spirit, you, you go to reason together. And that's the place where you bring solutions. That's the place where you get your uh, energy. That's the place where you refresh, you feel your spirit. Okay? Place of meditation and the place of praying in the spirit. Okay? These things are very, very crucial. Very, very crucial. Every great man of God that we see out there today. Okay? Those most of them those they have a secret place of of meditation of making many books okay these things are i think is they are part of the duties of men on it so that we can actually bring what god puts in our inputs when he created us can actually come out of our life on this planet earth when, when we are still alive okay so Thank you, guys. Is this a day you made for me? I will rejoice in No more heart that sorrow No more pain I'm mm -hmm.